KTLA 5, an equal opportunity employer, is dedicated to providing broad outreach regarding station job vacancies. Organizations that wish to receive our vacancy information should contact KTLA 5 Human Resources. Now at four, an investigation is underway after several L.A. County vehicles were set on fire in downtown L.A. overnight. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Pedro Rivera. And I'm Samantha Cortese. The car fires are the latest in a string of suspicious fires. Including a fire inside of a garage in the Fairfax District and a boat damage in Panorama City. KTLA's Gene Kang is live in downtown L.A. with more on this investigation. Gene. Hey there, Pedro and Samantha. You know, a lot of these suspicious and arson fires are still being investigated. We talked to police officers who say you should be much more aware of your surroundings here in L.A. County, as well as be on alert. Detectives say a parking security guard called 911 as five L.A. County vehicles went up in flames. L.A. firefighters rushed to the third floor of that parking garage at 213 Spring Street. That was around 1 a.m. today. They had it under control in less than 25 minutes, but in that time, a lot of damage. A hazmat team cleaned up all of the spilled fuel. So far, investigators say this is a suspicious fire and witnesses may have seen an unhoused man on a bicycle. They're still investigating if this, in fact, was arson. In these types of cases, so parking under a camera where your vehicle is clearly visible could definitely have some evidentiary value down the road. Last week, L.A. firefighters investigated multiple arson fires in the Fairfax district, ranging from garbage fires to apartment doors to garages to a family's Ford F-150 pickup truck. Detectives say it all happened between 3 to 5.30 a.m. last Wednesday, so very early in the morning. They believe potential suspects could be repeat firebugs or mentally unstable drifters who were possibly under the influence. And just Monday night, take a look at this, in Panorama City, several arson fires, including a torch boat, the tires of a pickup truck, and a street crossing light. Multiple vehicles were damaged. People called 911, and police detained four people who reportedly set off fireworks, but then they were later released. Worried residents held a town hall safety meeting to raise a lot of concerns with police and other detectives. Now back out here live, there are multiple investigations going on in different areas. We're gonna have the latest to see if there are any arrests coming up in the next hour. And also more safety tips, even though it's very challenging to prevent a car fire, police say there are proactive ways that could help you out in court. Reporting live here in downtown L.A., Gene Kang, back to you in the studio. Gene, thank you. Federal agents descended on an Irvine neighborhood today, arresting two suspects, including an active duty Marine based at Camp Pendleton in connection to the firebombing at Acosa Mesa Planned Parenthood. The Marine was identified as 23-year-old Chance Brandon, and the other suspect was 21-year-old Tibet Ergel of Irvine. Investigators say that they were caught on security video last March, throwing a Molotov cocktail at the medical clinic. The bombing is considered an act of domestic terrorism and a possible civil rights crime. If convicted, they could face up to 20 years in federal prison. In a statement from Planned Parenthood, the organization thanked law enforcement agencies involved and say they are continuing to cooperate with the FBI. The suspect in a sexual battery that was caught on video in the city of Irvine on Saturday is now in police custody. He's been identified as 23-year-old Brandon Dibdahl of Beaumont. Officials say he was arrested at a home in Laguna Hills this morning. Irvine police released a security video of the attack earlier this week. It shows a man targeting a 56-year-old woman in the middle of the day before running to his car. According to detectives, the car seen in the video was also found when Dibdahl was taken into custody. Now to the shooting death of a burglary suspect in Orange County. Sheriff's deputies say he was armed with a hatchet when they opened fire. It's still an active crime scene at this hour as the investigation continues and question possible witnesses in the area who may have saw something. KTLF Sarah Welsh is in Midway City with the story.